Local health officials are praising President Biden's plan, while others balk at what they consider an affront to personal freedom. I think it's a good strategy. The new requirement could create a strain on vaccination sites like the one hosted at FAMU, but the University Health Services director says it'd be well worth the extra work. We know that we're seeing increased cases and increased deaths um, due to the Delta variant, and the fact that we continue to have such high rates of community transmission, we're, we're just, you know, waiting for the next variant to come. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis disagrees. I do not believe that people should lose their jobs um, over this issue, and, um, and and we will fight that. A fight some workers will be happy for him to take on. I feel like that's a little extreme because everybody has to work and, I mean, pay bills and everything. Others eager for the difference it could make for overall health and safety. It might infringe on somebody's personal rights. I agree with that, but I also think that with the vaccination available, that everybody needs to get the vaccination to keep everybody safe. According to data collected by the Mayo Clinic, Florida's population is 54% fully vaccinated. That number is 58% in Leon County, according to health department officials. Vaccination sites like FAMU's will be looking to OSHA for more guidance on the plan's implementation in the coming weeks. In Tallahassee, Cara Bailey, ABC 27.